Have you ever wondered if your Excel skills are good enough to get an entry-level actuarial job or an internship? Well, today's video is going to help you figure that out. Excel is a tool that most future actuaries use almost every day on the job. So it's something that you need to know inside and out. It's something that you should add to your resume and something that you should talk about during interviews, even if the employer doesn't ask about it. So today I'm going to challenge you to complete a simple Excel project that any future actuary should know how to do before they start applying for entry-level jobs or internships. But here's the catch, you're only going to have 10 minutes to complete it. So what happens if you can't do it? Well, that's an indicator to you that you need to spend some time improving your Excel skills. These are really important skills for you to have so you don't want to neglect them. In that case, you may be interested in our Excel Ninja Challenge that is starting next week. During the challenge, you're going to be able to learn Excel from a very beginner level all the way to advanced Excel and we're even going to go into some Excel programming. So you can automate tasks in Excel. There will be more details about the Excel Ninja challenge at the end of this video, but first let's get into today's project. Okay, you're going to pretend that you are an actuary that has calculated these premiums depending on the different types of drivers and the vehicle that they're driving. We've really simplified this down, so we're splitting it between bad drivers and good drivers. So for example, a bad driver that is driving a bus would be charged a premium of $12,000, whereas a good driver that's driving a motorcycle would be charged a premium of $375. Now your Excel challenge is to create this tool that looks like this. It's a premium calculator for insurance agents. Now an insurance agent is someone that is going to sell insurance to a client. So an insurance agent should be able to put different criteria into your tool in order to determine the premium that they should charge to a client. So for example, if an insurance agent was talking to a bad driver that wanted to insure themselves in a limo, then the insurance agent would be able to fill in the driver type as a bad driver and they'd be able to fill in the vehicle type as a limo and automatically this tool would be able to tell them what premium to charge. So in this example, $522 is the answer that your calculator should give. That comes directly from this chart where a bad driver is charged $522. Now your tool should be able to take in any combination of driver and vehicle type and determine the premium that should be charged to that type of driver. Now there's another little catch here. When the premium is above $1,000, it should cause this cell to turn red. So let's look at an example because there's only one premium here that would cause the cell to turn red. That's a bad driver that's driving a bus because their premium is $12,000. So if we go to our tool and we put in bad driver that's driving a bus, well, the premium is $12,000 and since it's above $1,000, you see that the cell turns red. Your tool needs to do that as well. Okay, so right now you're probably in one of two categories. Either you know exactly how to complete this project and if that's the case for you, make sure to let me know down below in the comments how long it took you to complete it. Hopefully it's less than 10 minutes. If you are in category two, which is someone that doesn't know how to complete this project completely on your own, that is totally fine. This really is a project that you should be able to know how to do before you start even applying for actuarial jobs or internships. So if you don't know how to do it, that is totally fine because next week we are starting our Excel Ninja Challenge and I'd love to invite you to join us. In the Excel Ninja Challenge, you are going to get tons of Excel lessons that teach you Excel from the very beginner level, like even if you've never opened Excel before, all the way to advanced Excel and we even go into some VBA programming, which is a programming language that allows you to automate tasks in Excel. In the Excel Ninja Challenge, you'll get to complete two projects that you can add to your resume and talk about during interviews. Plus, you're going to get an Excel Ninja certificate so you can prove that you actually completed this challenge. By the end of the Excel Ninja Challenge, you'll be able to walk away with a level of understanding and knowledge around Excel that is definitely enough for you to go into an entry-level actuarial job or an internship confidently so you don't have to annoy your colleagues with simple Excel questions when you get started. If this sounds like a challenge that you would like to participate in, make sure you check it out down below in the description of this video. All the details are there, but it starts next week, so don't delay. Go check it out now. The sooner you get signed up, the better. That's all for this week, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.